Here's a fun game to play. Next time you fly somewhere, freeze all of your liquids and gels. You got any liquids or gels? Nope. Only solids. What is that, a bottle of water? No. It's, it's, it's a bottle of ice. I can't do it so much, but you guys. You guys can do it. Not as funny when I do it for some reason, not sure why that is. They don't seem to get the joke at the airport. Funny haha -ha moment. Just flew down here, came through Toronto, no way here. I was waiting for the plane to start boarding, the Toronto airport, and there's a restaurant right at the gate. And I was hungry, so I ordered a steak. And I was cutting the steak into small pieces with a steak knife. And I looked down at the steak knife, and I looked up at the plane, and we were already past security. And it dawned on me, you know, we are so lucky that we stopped cutting steak with nail clippers. Because <laughs> that would be a security risk. That would be, there are so many holes in our security. So many, and we just live on this illusion of safety. Like, oh, I'll be fine, they took our tweezers. <laughs> As if there's two terrorists somewhere in the airport who are just like, it's awkward. I didn't think they'd take the tweezers. Yeah, no. Four years of planning. Just, <laughs> just wasted. <laughs> Conversation never takes place because you're giving people steak now. It's so many holes, you know, some that are obvious too, you know? Like broken glass, right? Not allowed on a flight because you can use it as a knife, right? It's fine, makes sense. But intact glass that maybe breaks later. <laughs> Not a knife now. <laughs> you know, take your own glass. On the flights, they're serving passengers wine from a glass bottle. Do they think the terrorists can't figure out how to break a glass bottle? Is that there? They figured out how to break buildings. Do you think this? That's difficult for them? You know what's really scary? If terrorists ever did figure out how to break glass, it would be the perfect act of terror. Because all the passengers would get little shards of glass embedded in their skin. And no one could reduce their suffering because no one would have tweezers. 